Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a video from somebody else's channel that they make this. And the, the guy does a good job. Uh, I'm going to eliminate a few steps, I think. And he doesn't speak English and he goes a little fast. So we're going to create this from start, from scratch. It's pretty cool. So take an ellipse, doesn't matter what size. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. Take your two point, your three point curve line, go from the quadrant to the quadrant, then let go of your mouse and then hold down the control button to get a perfect arch. We're gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and then mirror it the other way, move it to this other side. And what we're having now are three shapes, but we need to make those three shapes, those shapes. So let's see, this thing is 16 inches. We're gonna set our nudge factor on 18, not 89, 18. And we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool and make that shape and nudge it over, make that shape and nudge it over, make that shape. So what I did, I made three shapes. Take away the fill and get an outline. Now we've got three individual shapes where we don't before. So now what we need to do is nudge these back and they're in the center of the page. We're gonna take a really thin rectangle, at least as wide, and with your ratio unlocked, make it 0.1. Then we're gonna move that right to the top, hit the plus key on the keyboard, and move it to the bottom. Hold down the shift key and select both the rectangles. We can actually make them black and take away the outline. We're gonna to go to effects and blend. We're gonna blend 26 times is what I did on the other one and it worked. We're gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and move that out of the way. I didn't hit the plus key. So now I've got two copies and this is pretty important. You do not wanna move them. You only wanna nudge them. So I made another copy. I've got three copies now. They're all a blend, so we need to go, and this one's fine because we want that small of a uh, one, but if we go right here and grab the very first one, I'm gonna make it a point two rectangle, and we're blending to a point one, so we need to go down here and make it a point two. Up here, we're gonna go, we're gonna go point three. We're just making it thicker and thicker. We're gonna grab the bottom one, point three. Now we need to break these apart. So I'm gonna to go to object, break the blend apart, go to object and group them together so it'll work later. Go here, object, break blend apart or control K, object, control G to group it. Grab that, object, break blend apart, you know, I use Control G and Control K when I'm not making a video, but I think it helps a little bit. Now, remember, we're not gonna move, we're gonna nudge. So I'm gonna nudge that one down twice, and I'm gonna take our lightest line and I'm gonna nudge it over there, and I'm gonna select both of them and I'm gonna go to the Intersect tool. That intersected it. We're done with that one. I'm gonna take the inside shape now, nudge it, Nudge that back to it. Doesn't matter where it is in the deal because we put it in the center and I'm going to nudge it down. Now we actually have to fill them in with black, both of them. For some reason that when it does that, you have to fill them in. I don't know if the intersect does that. Now we're going to take this last one and we don't have to, we can just nudge that to there. Intersect tool, nudge it down. Fill it with black, so I'm left clicking, nudge it over, and voila. The one important thing to think about is to keep it nudging. Let's control G to group it, and then we could spin it around like that first one. You wanna blend from the top to the top, and you want never, I mean, normally you could just move stuff like this around but if you don't put your lines in the center, your lines aren't gonna be thick, 
thin, thin from the center. So you need to keep that into, you know, a lot of times on lines, you know, if you wanted to put just a circle here and put lines in it, you know, then you could just use the intersect tool and it doesn't matter. But with this being lines off the other lines, you need to do that. That is a pretty cool logo. And I have to give credit for the gentleman who did the video, but uh, translating it to, I left out a, I, I did a thing a little bit different and hopefully understand. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.